vlog, vlog post number one of my life. Um, so the piece that I've picked as something that I'm really enjoying and have really enjoyed for a very long time is actually the cello duets by Kumer, opus 22. Um, it's a, a grouping of three of his duets and um, it was a piece I actually first learned when I was about 11 um, with my teacher at the time, Anne Macy. And it's a really fun piece. The first one I played the most. Um, they get quite substantially harder as you go through from beginning to end. Um, but they are a lot of fun to play because both of the cellos actually have essentially equal parts with the melody and counter melodies swapping out between the first and second cellos. Um, so it works really well for uh, players of equal level as well as a teacher and a student. So after learning this for my very first time, um, it was a piece that I actually came back to over and over, um, basically anywhere I went, summer camps, um, university, I brought these parts with me. Um, actually, I played it with my now husband when we went to a chamber music program in Oberlin, Ohio together when we were 15 and 16, and we would sight read these pieces while attending Credo, um, just for fun, not really putting too much work into it. The, the music itself isn't necessarily the most brilliant, although Kumer does have a, a nice sense of um, composition and pedagogy, he himself being quite a proficient cellist. He studied with Dotsauer, who any cellists out there will know. and actually took over from Dot Zauer when he retired from being principal cellist of the Dresden Court or Orchestra. Um, so he was a proficient cellist himself, um, but also created his own method of cello playing. So you notice in these pieces that he's thought out what technical things he's using and how the two cellos will work together. Um, and you'll notice in the first movement that we're playing that it's a very clear sonata allegro form with an exposition, a development, and then a re recapitulation, um, which is very useful for teaching. Um, one of the things that is, you know, when I've come back to this in years after learning it. The first time I played it, as I mentioned, with my husband, and then um, when I was studying at Peabody, I played this as part of the uh, live music response to the Baltimore riots in 2015. Um, and then when I started teaching my own students, I actually used these duets with them because they're such a good uh, resource for teaching form, for teaching about chamber music between the two cellos, and for having students play together. So you can have one student play the first part and work with them in lessons, and have another student play the second part and then actually bring them together. And it's a really nice introduction to chamber music and alternation between melody and harmony. Um, without having to have a large group of musicians in one place. So that was something that actually made me like the pieces even more was gonna teach them to students. Um, so since we've been on lockdown, both my husband and I are working from home all the time and it's given us time to actually play these again. And so we started off just reading them through for fun. And then when Nevis asked for some blog posts on pieces that we were particularly enjoying working on at the moment, this was the piece that came to mind first. So we're gonna play for you the first and the second movement of the first duet. Um, 
the first movement is allegro form. Um, we're going to skip the first repeat and actually have to pause for a moment to turn pages because we have three cellos in our apartment, but no second music stand. So we have the entire setup on one music stand, which works really well. Um, <laughs> we tried to play it earlier out the window for the butcher across the street and the wind blew it all down and we had to stop. But that won't happen now because we've got the windows closed. Um, and then the second uh, movement is the Andantino. Um, and this one, the cello parts don't swap quite as frequently in the, as they do in the first movement where essentially every phrase is traded between. The first cello will play bum 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 and then the second cello will play bum 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 bum. Um, so it's quite trady -offy. Um But in the second movement, the first cello starts with this quite lovely melody um, and the second cello is playing pizzicato and then a little bit into the movement, the second cello kind of says, I would like to play the melody too. And so they take over and the first cello switches to an accompaniment part um, with a, a middle section where we collaborate and then back with a little recap with some extra ornamentation. So this is Coomer's duet number one from his Opus 22. I hope you enjoy.